Welcome to Average Joe's Pool. Today we're going to be showing you how to determine what the stretch index is on your particular pool table cloth. So if you haven't heard the term before, what exactly is the stretch index and why do you need to know it? Well put quite simply, the stretch index of a cloth is a calculation that you do to find out what the maximum stretch is in the cloth and then you minus a certain amount from that and that gives you the amount of stretch that you should stretch in one direction to then allow the cloth to be stretched in the second direction as well. Because if you fully stretch the cloth in one direction, then you're going to find that it's not going to want to stretch in the other direction, especially with cloths like Simonis, which don't have very much stretch in them. Now, the stretch index varies quite a bit between different manufacturers of cloth, and even to a slightly lesser degree, the colour can affect the stretch of the cloth as well. It's a good idea to do the stretch index on your particular cloth before you install that cloth, because that's going to ensure that during installation, you're putting the correct amount of stretch onto that cloth to allow it to stretch properly in both directions and give a nice tight finish. Now fortunately the test itself is not actually that hard to do. You are going to need a few uh, tools. Hopefully you've got some of these already lying around at home. So let's take a look. So to uh, get the stretch index what we're going to do is just lay the uh, cloth uh, out on the table. The table has been cleaned. Uh, it will be coming off again once we've got the uh, stretch uh, index sorted. I'm just going to lay this out uh, roughly onto the table. Uh, all we need to do is lay out enough so that we can get the information that we need. Now I've got a little bit of uh, foam packaging here. You can use uh, anything really uh, just to help uh, protect it because uh, next we're going to put a 2x4 on top of the cloth. So with my 2x4 uh, here I'm only putting it onto the, uh, the final slate. You can see I've got quite a long 2x4 here. Doesn't need, really doesn't need to be this long. You get the idea. What I need to do is I'm going to clamp this on. I'm going to draw a minimum of two clamps, uh, but ideally uh, three or four if you have them. Make sure they're seated correctly on the underside. Make sure they're all up nice and tight. And the reason that we've uh, clamped these on here is because what we need to do is going to be pulling the cloth from the other side. And so we need to put something here that we know is going to definitely hold this cloth and resist our pull. It's now come out to the opposite side of the table, directly facing my clamps. What we're going to be doing next is going to, with two hands, but not using any mechanical devices, don't be using your pliers. You want to do this with both hands. We're going to pull this and get 100% of our stretch. We're going to pull that as hard as we realistically can. And whilst we're holding that pull, I'm going to get a second person just to come in and make a pencil mark right there on the corner of the slate. And then what will happen is, as, we, as, as I stretch it, put that mark back on and then release the stretch, obviously that mark will then move back in towards the center there. And then that's the measurement that we need. So it's, so it's not the measurement when we stretch, it's, that's just to put a mark, it's when we relax again, that's going to give us our measurement, which will be the distance between uh, the corner of the slate here, where we originally put the mark, and when this, the uh, cloth relaxes, where the mark ends up. And with the mark, don't worry that this uh, mark is going to end up under your rail anyway, because remember, uh, yes, it will go back uh, in towards the face, but then when you come to stretch it later, you're going to be uh, put, it will pretty much come back to this point again. So don't worry, any little mark that got, you're going to put will not be seen later on in the process. Uh, also, it should be mentioned uh, that this test uh, can be done on any size of table. It doesn't matter what size of table that it is, but it must be done across the width of the table, not lengthways. It doesn't matter, six, seven, eight, nine, ten foot table, whatever you've got, uh, it, the test remains the same. and then relax the cloth. Just let that naturally sit back to where it wants to sit. So our mark here is just a hair over a two and a quarter inches. I say technically two and five sixteenths. Now the measurement that you've got, of course, that could vary from what we're seeing here, because that's going to depend on uh, the size of your table and also uh, the type of cloth that you're using. The important thing is that you've got a figure here that matches the maximum stretch of your cloth. 
regardless of any other factor. It may be different to what you see here. That's okay, as long as you've got a figure. So now to get the stretch index, so we know what this measurement is. And so what we do is we minus three quarters of an inch from this measurement. And again, for this part, it does not matter what size of table that you have or what type of cloth you have. It always gets deducted by three quarters of an inch. And the reason that why it's always there three quarters of an inch regardless of your table size, it's because three quarters of an inch uh, generally is the ideal allowance to allow back in so that when you stretch it in the opposite direction, you've still got movement. And the differences between the different sizes of tables are so small that as a general rule, that three quarter inch reduction suits all. So in our particular instance, uh, we were just a, a hair um, uh, over two and one quarter inches. Uh, so if I were to take that back three quarters of an inch, I'd be at an inch and a half. Or if I really want to be exact, I was on two and five sixteenths. So if I uh, take three quarters of an inch away from that, I end up with one and nine sixteenths. Obviously nine sixteenths is just a hair uh, over uh, half an inch. So now I've established what the stretch index is for our particular cloth. So what do we actually do uh, with that information? Well, when it comes to the installation of the uh, pool table cloth, we're actually going to be marking the cloth uh, at a set distance from the edge, and then we'll be stretching to that mark. And so by knowing this uh, number in advance, when we come to uh, mark this cloth up, we can be sure that we are stretching it the ideal amount, which is the full stretch, minus three quarters of an inch, so that when we then come to stretch it in the other direction, that three quarter inch uh, that we've allowed off of maximum stretch allows the cloth also to stretch in the opposite direction. So this will help to ensure that you get the maximum stretch a nice tight finish. So that is how to determine the stretch index of your pool table cloth. Now, if you want to see firsthand how uh, this information is used, then we have done a full cloth installation video and we'll be showing you uh, this uh, process uh, actually transferred onto the cloth during that installation. And so if that's something that's of interest to you, we will add a link in the video description below for our cloth uh, replacement video. So we hope that this video has been entertaining or useful for you. And before you leave us, can you take one second out of your busy schedule just to please be sure to at least hit that like button for us. It really helps us out. Likewise, we've got loads more DIY pool videos on our YouTube channel. Just waiting for you to check out and loads more to come. So why not hit that subscribe button and switch on notifications. So thank you again. We hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you down the road.